Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 7.20 from Sadiku book. So the question is for the circuit in figure 7.100, P is given and I is given. So we are given question A until D. Let's find out one by one. Find L and R. Okay, R I think the easiest one to find, which is can be find out using Ohm's law. The R is Vt divided by I T. Okay, let's plug that in. 90 e to the minus 50t. And then what is I T? I T is 30 multiplied by e to the minus 50t. Okay, e to the minus 50t is the same term, so we can just cancel them. Therefore, we will have 90 divided by 30 or the resistance is 3 and the unit I think is ohm because this is volt and this is ampere all in the SI unit so we have no problem here and then what else the second one is find the inductance or L L okay remember that Vt is equal to L di over dt but it is when the current goes down here but the current goes up and goes to the left so it is minus okay let's plug that in so i will have on the left hand side 90 e to the minus 50 t and then on the right hand side i will have minus l and the derivative of the it right it is that one so i will have 30 e to the minus 50t. Okay, we can take the derivative of this using chain rule. So I'll have 90 e to the minus 50t on the left hand side. We are looking for L. And then this one will be minus 50 times 30. That will be minus 1500. And then e to the minus 50t. Okay, that's good. Negative times negative will become positive. And this term is the same on the left and right. So we can divide them like that. So they will cancel each other. Therefore, 90 is equal to 1500 of L. So we can just divide both sides by 1500. So we'll have 90 divided by 1500. Uh, that means that L is, let's find that out, 0, 0, 90 divided by 1500, okay, 0.06, 0.06, and the unit will be Henry here, or we can rewrite this as 1660 milli Henry, right, so, this is the question A. Now let's move on to the question B. Determine the time constant. Okay, what is the question B as? It's the time constant, tau. Tau is just the inductance divided by the resistance. That will be 0 0.06 Henry. We need the SI1. And then 3 ohm. So I will have 3 ohm here. Therefore, our time constant is 0 0.02. The unit here will be second. Or this will equivalent to tau is equal to 20 millisecond. Okay. You can use this answer in second. Or you can use this answer in millisecond. Okay. Let's go to the next question. But I think our slide is full. Let's clean that up. Okay, what is the question C? Calculate the initial energy of the inductor. Okay, so the energy at T is equal to zero, which is they are asking us for. So I will have one half multiplied by the inductor multiplied by I zero squared. Right, so I will have one half 
times the inductance I think that will be 0 0.06 remember that and then 0 0.06 0 0.06 and then I0 what is I0 I0 is this but with the t is equal to 0 so I'll have 30 e to the minus 50 t square but remember the t is 0 so let's change that into 0 and I think I will have 1 half times 0 0.06 times 30 times 1 right e to the 0 is 1 so I will have 30 squared I think I just want to leave this into my calculator so we'll have 1 half times 0 0.06 times 30 squared and that will be 27 so I'll have 27 and the unit will be joule because all of them is in SI unit okay and then the question D what fraction of the initial energy is dissipated in T is equal to 10 millisecond or this in second will be 0 0.01 second right so we need to find out the energy at 0 0.01 and for this I will have uh, one half multiplied by the L 0 0.06 and then I at T is equal to 0, 0, 001 so I'll have 30 multiplied by E minus 50 but then this is multiplied by 0 0.01 and then all of this is squared and I think I just leave it into my calculator so that will be this part right that change so let's do it like this and save e to the minus 50 times 0 0.01 squared did I make any mistakes here Mm, okay let's 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 repeat this so i will have one half times 0 0.06 and then times e to the minus 50 times 0 0.01 and then all of that squared I miss some constant here that will be 30 yeah okay yeah 30 30 here so I will have 9.93 okay 9.93 joule 9.93 joule okay so what we ask is the energy dissipated so energy dissipated that will be 27 minus the energy remaining so 9.93 divided by 27 and then multiplied by 100 percent okay i think i just leave it into my calculator again so i will have 27 minus 9.93 divided by 27 and then multiplied by 100 and what I need is in decimal so I will have 63.22% and this is the answer for the energy dissipated and I think we answer all the question for 7.20 okay that's all thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye